Welcome to Fiserv's Meet the Vets video series. I'm Steve Gelbs. Throughout the years, Fiserv has played a critical role in supporting economic growth and improving communities across the country. Through a U.S. military and veterans engagement strategy called Fiserv Salutes, they provide the military community with career opportunities, education resources, and business solutions for veteran-owned business. Joining me now are some veterans who have been impacted in a positive way by Pfizer. First of all, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And I just wanted to start off by having you all briefly tell us about your time serving and your connection to Pfizer. Um, my name is Meg Hendricks, and I'm an Army veteran. I was an adjutant general officer, and I'm married to an Army veteran, and I am head of military and veteran affairs at Pfizer. Hello, Mets family. My name is Baron Tompkins, and I am an Air Force veteran. Uh, very fortunate to have spent seven years on active duty, served all over Germany, Japan, Afghanistan. In the military, I did human resources, or personnel, and very fortunate to have a home at Viserv where I, I do human resources. My name is Stephanie Pulver. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran who served on active duty for six years and did combat tour in the Middle East for OIF, OEF in 05 to 06. I am currently one of our chapter leads for our Military Leadership Council out of Hagerstown, Maryland, and I'm also a military analyst under our Corporate Analyst Program. First of all, before we go any further, uh, thank you so much for your service. I know I speak uh, on behalf of all of us when we say we're forever grateful. Um, just to that end, what is the most important thing that you took away from your time serving in the military? I absolutely think that some of those intangible things that you learn in the military, your work experience, your dedication, your motivation, your ability to pivot, one of the things that the Navy says is you need to be always bendable, Semper Gumby, right? And so especially looking at working for a Fortune 250 company in corporate America in 2020, wow what a year this has been. And if we wouldn't be able to pivot and turn and readjust and course correct the way that we have under our current and previous leadership, we would just be kind of out in the wind uh, flapping around. So it's been amazing to be part of this team, especially all of our military folks at Pfizer who have been able to just change and adapt and completely keep going on the way that we have been. I, I'd say overall, one of the biggest takeaways that I that I can take from my time in the Air Force was really the opportunity to work as a team, uh, to become from all walks of life, so diverse, a uh, virtual melting pot, if you will, uh, to be able to take those experiences and put those into work with a diverse company like Pfizer. Uh, and that's one of the best things about Pfizer is that despite our gaps between, you know, just from distance, we're always working as a team, we're working together. Now I see you all wearing your orange and blue, your Mets gear today, so what role has baseball and specifically the Mets played in your lives? I am from New Mexico originally, so what most people probably are going to say is, <laughs> what sports happen in New Mexico? Um, and we don't have a lot of professional sports, but one thing that I do remember doing um, is going to see baseball games with my grandparents whenever I was young, and that was just like a wonderful experience and then when i met and then married my husband who's a new yorker and a mets fan i became a mets fan as well and definitely lo love any opportunity to get to watch the mets either in person or you know from our couch growing up in houston uh, i guess it's easy to say that the mets aren't always the most popular team here in texas but uh very fortunate that uh in my elementary school we actually had to write uh two papers in second grade about real real life athletes and uh looking there in the school library i found two books one one about daryl strawberry and one about dwight gooden it was from there on i was always a big fan of the mets and it's been something that's kind of uh, kind of carried with me ever since well we appreciate everything you guys do but so does someone who as you can see just joined us now one of the most beloved mets in <laughs> franchise history this is mookie wilson here mookie how you doing man I'm doing very well. Be careful how you throw the word beloved, Brown, all right? <laughs> <laughs> These incredible veterans obviously know about teamwork and sacrifice. I know yeah. you won a World Series in 86, one of the most interesting group of teammates. Yes, what it was. <laughs> what was the one thing that that group had that you really think brought you all together? Yep, you know, with, with all the chaos uh, that surrounded that team, um, it was how much to, how much these guys loved each other. They really cared about, about each other. And in spite of what you have read or heard about what that team did, when they stepped on the ball field, it was all business. 
And, you know, people throw the word chemistry around a lot. Chemistry is simply when one person or a bunch of people respect the ability of the other person to do their jobs. And this is what that team was all like. That's why, I mean, there are other teams, man for man, might be with more talented, but there was no better team than that 86 team. No better team. Anybody have any questions for, for Mookie Wilson or anything you want to say to Mookie? Back during the game in 86 with um, Bill Buckner, did you talk to him after after your ball rolled through his legs or did you guys ever? <laughs> after 86, I didn't speak to Bill for three years. Um, but when I finally spoke to him, I would say he spoke to me first. I was in um, Kansas City and I was down the Rocky Line stretching and he came walking across the ball field with a bat, hit it to the batting cage. I thought he was coming to get me with it, but yeah, he wasn't. And he stood over me and said, um, hey, Mookie, you want to hit me some ground balls? And that was the funniest. Everyone just died. And I think it opened the door for us to become the friends that we were because I didn't know how to approach him. Um, you know, so, you know, it, it was a weird situation, but um, it turned out to be one of the best things that ever could have happened uh, to me. And I know it might sound funny, but to him also because he learned a lot from the whole experience. Mookie, truly, thank you for sharing it, and thank you for joining us. And I know, you know, on behalf of both Mookie and myself, we once again want to thank the three of you for not just joining us today, but but for your service. Uh, like I said earlier, all of us are, are forever grateful. So thank you so much, and, and Mookie, thank you for again for joining us. Oh, good. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you again for, for all you've done. Fiserv is recognized as a top five company for the fourth year in a row and on the Military Times Best for Vets list. Learn more at Fiserv.com.